got, I got to tell you guys, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I, I was really upset this morning and I, I, <laughs> the pie patch, we have dubbed it the pie patch. It was supposed to be the answers to all things good. 3.14. This morning it got ripped to shreds and I had many, many DMS here. Everybody's pretty much upset. It was, it was pretty fire this morning. And I had a nice little chat with our friend Snow Fox. And that podcast will start season two of the DG360 podcast. And that's for our VIP members. So that'll be out this weekend. I'll put that together for you guys. And we talk about the pie patch. We talk about it. But I will I'll give you like a short summation here. This morning when I was talking with Fox, I did not really get to go over the details. I had just felt the fire. I had heard the chanting. I had I I had seen the shadows on the buildings with the pitchforks and I wasn't quite sure exactly what people were upset about until I went over the roadmap review over here <laughs> and it was like what just happened the pie patch it's like all crust with the pie taken out like filling and all like filling and all just <laughs> and just eat it eat it eat it eat it now I know we're going to be doing the Inside Star Citizen review here, but I just wanted to get into this because it was a big topic, and you'll hear me expand upon it more in the future podcast this weekend. But here are some things that were moved to 3.15, and this is not a short list, okay? I'm going to read these to you. Personal inventory, which was huge and I think was tied to the economy, gone. Well, not gone, but pushed, pushed. Tech healing, the healing for medical gameplay, pushed. Right, pie is no longer good. This whole time I've been anticipating the pie patch. I've been saying it since 3.11, I think. I've been saying, oh, pie patch is really going to bring the gameplay that many of us want. FPS radar and scanning also pushed. That was like, wow, man, that was huge. The FPS radar and scanning was big because it was like, you know, where you are on the ground, which direction you're, you know, like what units are there. It had everything to do with like FPS battle. It had everything to do with like a navigational system, a, a compass, if you will. The, 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 the origin of it, that's pushed to 3.15. Hacking tech pushed to 3.15. NPC healing med, morgue med gameplay pushed to, to, to 3.15. Uh, cure life medical test. So med, 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 medics got, got snapped, man. And, and like Sir is saying, this is very true. He says, I mean, they could have released that stuff in 314, but it would have been very janky and broken, and nobody really wants to play it that way. Yes. But that's not necessarily my point, though, sir. And this is something I really expound upon, and I will I will refrain from talking too much about it because I talk about it in depth with, with Fox on the podcast. It's going to be this weekend. But I get worried about this tentative and, and this is what Jared talks about in the roadmap and everything labeled tentative. And if you really look at the roadmap, a lot of things were labeled tentative. But we talked about this over a week and a half ago when I talked about all the things, mmm, pie, 3.14, all the things that I was looking forward to. And I think it's important to really put people on point when there are delays or pushbacks or setbacks because it really speaks volumes to management. It really speaks volumes to workflow throughs, uh, team synergies, okay? These types of things that are office related. And it really needs to hit. And the voice needs to be put out there. That, that, that sometimes putting tentative on everything is really not just, it's not an acceptable thing. Like there, there has to be accountability. And, and, and I don't think that's out of bounds to say something like that. You know, like a lot of people lately, some people have been like, oh, DG, he's just such a white knight. He's such a white knight. No, no. When I see stuff like this, I'll call people out for it. It's not acceptable <laughs> to me. Uh, you know, these types of things where everything is tentative, uh, the, all these, all these pretty much except for Orison. And the radar and scanning. So the two things above me are staying. Everything from the center over is getting pushed to, to 
3.15 and to me that's just really really sloppy and you can see here in 3.14 above me on the roadmap I don't really get into roadmaps anymore because like they just they infuriate me and I, I hate the speculation and I it, roadmap reviews are really dumb <laughs> like because to me it's like here's three things that are going to happen in a roadmap review on any content creators channel you're going to see there's going to be like, okay, we're going to review what gets done. We're going to get review what gets pushed back. And we're going to talk about the things that we might want to see, like all the speculation. And then it's just like tons of speculation chat and blah, 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 blah. I don't even get involved with the like roadmap reviews. It's just a bunch of bullshit at this point. And the fact, and I talk about this with Fox as well on the podcast coming up on the weekend, is the fact that they reworked this entire roadmap so that they didn't have to get into the situation where they're over-promising and under-delivering delivering all the fucking time that's the real problem the real problem is the over promise under deliver factor and that was why this was said the way that it was and when i start to see all these tentative things tentative 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 tentative, tentative, tentative and and look at what happened to pie patch it was supposed to be so glorious and delicious I was really looking forward to it quite literally most of the gameplay features got pushed over a 3.15 the ship that's coming out, that's the Scorpius that we talked about, is not even coming out till in 3.17. Here comes a Scorpius in Q1 of 2022. This whole, you know, like this thing starts to really just get at me. So these are the things that I just wanted to mention, you know. These are things that are important to mention. And Pie Patch is now Crust Patch. I am relabeling Pie Patch Crust Patch. Just so you guys understand, there's still some good things. There's still some good things in 3.4, like capacitors, awesome, okay? Like there's going to be some capacitor gameplay. I like the elements that they brought into Elite Dangerous. We're going to have that kind of Elite Dangerous experience when you're in the cockpit and you've got like the different three areas of, of ship thrusters, weapon output, and shield output, and you can play with those things just in like an Elite Dangerous. But the good thing is, is they will link back to parts and pieces that will be able to be repaired or replaced in the economy. And Tony Z will be talking about it soon. And I would like to think that we had something to do about that since Donnie, one of the Cloud, Imper uh, Cloud Imperium devs, was in there who was on the economic team last week when we were talking about the economy. So it was really nice to, to kind of reiterate, hey, you know, Tony is going to talk more about the economy. We really do want to hear more about quantum. So this is cool. You know, not all negative, not all bad. But like, you know, you just got to take it with the grain of salt and you got to realize like this is part of game development. This shit happens all the time. and you just sometimes you got to flow with it but like there does need to be some level of accountability there has to be some level of accountability where people are standing up and saying okay no no <laughs> like like we get it it's a project it's an ongoing project but sometimes just no like it's not really acceptable to backers how that's going to play out in terms of like cash there we go dutch there we go with a common denominator you are the common denominator. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, DG, thank you so much. You never know who's going to pop up with all the different alerts. Thank you so much, Dutch. I appreciate that, bro. Very well timed because I am feeling that with you, Dutch. I'm right there, bro. I'm right there. All right. Let us get back to the show.